number 31 we have two experiments experiment 2 is carried out with an acid with a lower concentration so why does adding the water decrease the rate of the reaction with a lower concentration there are less particles per volume so the chances of them colliding will be lowered the frequency of collisions between the molecules will be lowered so this is one reason statement one however we are carrying out the experiment under the same conditions most importantly under the same temperature so adding water does not reduce the portion of effective collision okay. it allows they still have the same energy when they collide it's just that the chances of them colliding is lesser so frequency is adjusted but those that collide when they do collide okay, they will still have the same proportion of effective collision so it's not changed this one is affected by temperature so is statement 3 that is also affected by the change in temperature so only statement 1 is correct Thirty two. when we compress a gas Incre by increasing the pressure, we see that its volume changes from 76 to 20.5. So, if the gas was ideal, increasing the pressure from 15,005 kilopascal to 6,000 kilopascal, we are increasing it by four times. Multiply by four. When pressure is increased by four times, if it was ideal, we expect the volume to decrease by four. So this is the expected volume. Expected volume. However, the temp the volume decreases to twenty point five. So what? Why does it not decrease as much as we expect? Number one, it behaves non-ideally. Because if it was ideal, it will follow the ideal proportion. Number two, it liquefies. If it actually liquefies, we will get lesser than 19 we expect 19 and if part of it liquefies we get less than 19 maybe 18 15 and all that but actually we got we got more than what we expected so it can't be that the gas partially liquefies okay because we got more than what we expected same thing because we got more than what we expected we would not we can't assume that the gas is absorbed if the gas was absorbed we will get less than what we expected so only one is correct. Thirty-three. Which one applies to an ideal gas? You have to be familiar with PV NRT gas equation, and then from the number of moles, we can split up to mass over MR, which is a big M. We have this PV equals to mass over MR times RT and then we bring the V over we have this equation and we know that mass over volume is actually density so density is reflected here the rest of the terms becomes RT over M so one is correct Okay, this one should be number of moles so it's wrong this one should be density not concentration so 2 and 3 are wrong Thirty four hydrogen bonding okay, hydrogen atom is joined to an atom less electronegative well the definition is actually it needs to be either nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine. Okay, only these three are electronegative enough to cause hydrogen bonding uh, to be applicable. So not any other atoms. We need a pair of electrons on one end, a lone pair on one end, and we need and there's actually a partial positive charge on the hydrogen. 
that attracts a lone pair on the other end of a molecule from oxygen, from fluorine or from nitrogen and that's where we have the hydrogen bonds so 2 is required and 3 is also applicable Thirty-five. We have this reaction. So we check the statements. Nitrogen undergoes redox reaction. Nitrogen here is plus three, and then when it becomes nitrogen in the form of element, it becomes zero. So it undergoes reduction. So it undergoes a redox reaction. Bleaching agent remains. The bleaching agent is referring to your OCl minus. That's a component of bleach. And then final solution gives precipitate with silver nitrate. It contains chloride ions which will give a white PPT with silver nitrate. So all three statements are correct. Number 36. We have X that could could be either nitrogen or sulfur, and which ones of the statement could be correct if it was either nitrogen or sulfur? So I put down the nitrogen scenario, becoming NO, becoming NO2, the sulfur will become SO2 and SO3. So oxidation number of X increases by two from Y to Z. In the case of both nitrogen and sulfur, it is correct. So either one will make statement one. Correct. Y may have an unpaired electron in its molecule. Based on nitrogen oxides, okay, we will have an unpaired electron on nitrogen atom. So if it was in nitrogen compound, it will have an unpaired electron. Y has a polar molecule. If we use sulfur dioxide example, okay, this is a bent molecule. So we will have a dipole moment. So 1, 2 and 3 can be correct. Whether it's sulfur or nitrogen. 37. Which one of the compounds can be obtained from eating in a single reaction? So we can get eating from eating by hydrogenation. We can polymerize ethene to get polyethene, which is this compound. And we can add coal KMNO4, which will become add a diol per OH to your carbons on either ends. So all three statements are correct. Number 38, which compounds when heated gives a chiral center product? So, one, we have an alcohol, it will become an acid. There will be a chiral carbon here. Number two, we have an alcohol here. And then we will form an acid on this side, COOH. Okay, but because this COOH is the same as this COOH, this carbon is no longer no longer chiral. Okay, and we do not have any chiral carbons along this molecule. So, so since 2 is wrong, 3 must be wrong. But we can check. Here, we have oxidation of your secondary alcohol into ketone okay. and this is already a ketone and because of these two groups being the same this carbon is not chiral okay. and there are also no other carbons that are joined to four different groups so only one is correct Thirty nine. We have an aldehyde and HCN, 
what happens is the CN will join to this carbon here forming this intermediate so we have a new carbon-carbon bond forming statement 1 is correct the intermediate will have a negative charge and then finally we will form our cyano cyano uh, hydrin the OH bond will be formed so all three statements are correct Forty reaction of X with a compound or with calcium metal. Which one gives us this formula at the end? If it's ethanoic acid, okay, we will lose one hydrogen here, and calcium will be two plus. So the ratio when they react will actually be two moles of this and one mole of Ca two plus. We get this formula, okay, which does not or which will fit in the identity of x okay, you can check one two carbons multiplied by two c4 h3 multiplied by two h6 o2 multiplied by two o4 so one is correct with knowing acid we have this formula we can lose hydrogen from this end and also this N from your COOH and because CA2 plus and this is a 2 minus charge they actually react in 1 is to 1 ratio so we have this formula in the end it doesn't fit this empirical formula so this is out 3 must be out then because 2 is wrong okay we check this is methylpropanol dioic acid yeah, dioic like this one means there are two acidic groups so this H will be gone so is this H we have a 2 minus charge here we have a 2 plus charge here again the ratio will be 1 is to 1 we will end up with this formula here which is not comparable to the one we want so only statement 1 is correct